what we're discussing here today is actually that we, we have um, presented top line results from Atlantic and the main results from Atlantic last year at ESC and during ACC this year we presented the top line result, the main results from the Pegasus data set and here we actually have some additional sub-analysis that we have presented uh, during the conference. The thing is what we there looked into is like pre-treatment of ticagalor prior for patients getting to the hospital um, versus treatment at the point in time of PCI in a non in a, in a STEMI patient population, whether there would be benefit for ticagalor um, in, in in this time interval. Um, the overall results didn't show a, a, a difference with regards to the co-primary endpoints, but you have to bear in mind that the delta between the, the time between the two, the, 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 the pre-treatment and the in-hospital was just 30 minutes, mm -hmm. so it's very short. What we looked into this time is actually to look at a landmark analysis at 24 hours and then the t therapy really kicks in and what you then see is actually that both with regards to the pharmacodynamic endpoints, the uh, platelet aggregation assays, you see a significant difference emerging after six hours. Mm -hmm. And in addition to that, we also see a benefit de derived from ischemic endpoints as a composite ischemic endpoint. So that is actually really confirming the overall results that Berinta can actually be given very flexible mm -hmm. and that there's a, a trend of benefit for the patients that are pre-treated in the hospital, of before hospital. And the good thing about it is actually there's no difference with regards to timor major bleedings. Um, so it's, it appears to be safe as well. This specific research was indicated and initiated by Gilles Montelesco and this is actually a result of a very pragmatic aspect with regards to treatment paradigms of, uh, 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 across the board it, and it actually really um, confirms and uh, the, the, the current uh, um, recommendations with the treatment yeah. guidelines in STEMI patients whereby they say like you in should initiate pre-treatment as soon as possible after the first medical contact so this really sets it into context. What you see here now is like, like for, for the endpoints that we looked into is that there appears to be benefit for patients to be treated as soon as they have first medical contact. So once the ambulance arrive, it is actually su it's suggested that these results suggest that there is a benefit for patients to get Tachaglor on board as soon as possible. There's obviously different systems within different countries. In a lot of instances, uh, we have classified doctors on board of the ambulance within Europe, and they are perfectly qualified, and also they have, have undergone significant training to read ECGs, mm -hmm. and on the basis of that, initiate certain therapies, including most possibly then Tachaglor as well. But that needs to be taken into consideration, of course, because for all, you, you want to have patient, patient safety on the first place, and they need to identify and, and appropriately translate this type of uh, data, whether it actually fits within the, the current treatment paradigm. We already have an indication for acute coronary syndrome. What this gives the treating physician is more flexibility and more comfort with regards to the, the, the possibility to start and, and initiate ticagular therapy. Mm -hmm. So that's really, it gets much more depth in, in that respect. For the overall STEMI patient, that the, the vast majority needs to undergo angiography and PCI. So for those patients, there is the flexibility to start before they arrive at hospital at first medical contact, in contrast to what a lot of the, the this, at this point in time, a lot of the, 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 the physicians and the hospitals do, is at the point in time of PCI. And at the point of PCI, there's always a bit of a delay with an oral anti, anticoagulant with regards to the, the, the effect kicking in. So you, you're much better off to have some protection on board when you start the PCI, because PCI in itself, could actually have an effect on, on, on events.